Well, first of all, muscle is the organ of longevity. And we've always thought about muscle just as you said when it comes to exercise, performance, mobility, and strength, which, by the way, all of those things are important and critical for life. But there's something very unique and special to skeletal muscle. First of all, it's an organ system. It's an endocrine organ. It is responsible for a large component of glucose disposal, roughly 80% of glucose disposal. And we all hear about these things like cardiovascular disease, type 2 diabetes, obesity. Largely, many of these metabolic diseases begin in skeletal muscle decades before. Skeletal muscle is also an amino acid reservoir. It is the place that your body pulls from amino acids. And that is um, something that changes as we age, this idea of protein turnover, and we require healthy skeletal muscle. Of course, it's the body armor that we all know, and it is really responsible for how we age. And by the way, I came to this understanding through um, an experience I'd love to share with you. I did my fellowship in geriatrics and nutritional sciences. And at the time, we were looking at, you know, every fellow has to have a project, lucky for us. And we were looking at body composition and brain function. And there was one patient who I just adored. She was a mom of three kids, and she had always yo-yo dieted. We imaged her brain, and her brain looked like the beginning of an Alzheimer's brain. And I thought to myself, and I felt very responsible, thinking, why was this woman who was doing everything that we told her to do? She was exercising. She was eating a low-fat, high-carbohydrate diet. Why was she so metabolically unhealthy? And I realized that at the end of the day, it wasn't that she was overfat. It was that she was undermuscled. And we spend decades and have spent decades trying to treat obesity when really what we need to be looking at is skeletal muscle.